Today we're going to talk about the present perfect tense and the past tense. What is the present perfect tense? Well, when do we use the present perfect tense? We use the present perfect tense to talk about something that we started doing some point in the past, and then I still do that nowadays. Say, for example, like learn English. I say I have learned English for five years, which means five years ago I started learning English, and now I still go to English classes. I still learn English every day, or maybe very often. That is why I use the present perfect tense. So it is still true at the moment. The past tense. We use the past tense to talk about something in the past. So it is no longer true now. For example, if I say I watched a movie with my friend last night, what it happened last night, it is not true at the moment. So that is the difference between the present perfect and the past tense. Now, in this practice, we're going to practice when and how to use the present perfect tense and the past tense. Let's take a look at question number one. Peter is a famous marathon runner. He、mm, a runner for six years. Now remember, whenever we do something like this, the first thing we look for is the time marker, and the time marker is usually at the end of a sentence or at the beginning of a sentence. Let's look at this sentence. The time marker is here. It says for six years. When we see something like this, we know it's present perfect tense. So he's been doing it for six years. So this is present perfect tense. Now. Present perfect tense. We need to use have or has with verb PP. The verb is a be verb. The verb PP, the past participle for a be verb, is be, was, were, been. So been is the past participle. So the answer is he has been a runner for six years. He has been a runner for six years. Let's look at the next one. He、嗯、his interest in long distance running when he、嗯、ten. You see, he is a famous marathon runner. There is no way that he's ten years old now. So it must be the past tense. So when he、嗯、ten, the verb is a be verb. The past tense be verb for he. Is was so the answer is when he was ten. Now, since the second half of the sentence is written in past tense, the first half of the sentence is also in past tense. So the past tense of get is got. The answer is he got his interest. So the whole sentence is. He got his interest in long distance running when he was ten. Next, he、mm, in a small village where buses were very rare. Let's look at the second half of the sentence. You cannot see a time marker, any time marker in the sentence, but this is what you can find: where buses were. Very rare. You can see the beaver is actually in past tense. So, which means in the past he lived in a small village. So it is the past tense too. So, live is a regular verb. The past tense of live is lived. So the answer is he lived in a small village where buses were very rare. Let's look at next one. He、mm, to run to school in the morning so he would not be late. Is talking about the same thing. When he lived in that small village, he had to do that. So it's also in past tense. The past tense of have is had. So the answer is he had to run to school in the morning so he would not be late. Let's look at next one. He run back to his house after school too. 
it's also about the same thing. When he was 10, he lived in a small village. He had to run to school in the morning and he had to run back to his house after school. So it's also in past tense, but this time the verb is run. And we all know that run is an irregular verb. Run, ran. So the past tense of run is ran. Therefore, the answer is ran. He ran back to his house after school too. Let's look at the next one. He has gotten better and better in long distance running over the year. We can see the time marker is actually over the year. Over the year, which means he's getting better and better each day. So it's still true now. He is getting better and better. So he has gotten better and better since he decided to be a marathon runner. So the sentence is written in present perfect tense, which means it is still true at the moment. Now let's look at the next one. Finally, in 2007, he what? To go pro. Pro means to go professional like some players in NBA, basketball player Kobe Bryant, they are pro, professional basketball player. Go pro means he wants to be a professional player, a professional runner, all right? So in, 90, uh, in 2007, you can see the time marker over here. We are in 2013 now, so 2007 is in the past. Therefore, the sentence is in the past tense. Decide is a regular verb. The past tense of decide is decided. So the answer is he decided to go pro. Next, he compete in many marathons since he became a professional runner. Now, you can see the time marker here is actually the whole thing after the word since. Since he became a professional marathon runner, he is still a professional marathon runner and he competes in many, many different games. So this sentence is in the present perfect tense, keywords since, okay? So the answer is he has competed. He has come P tit. Compete is a regular verb, therefore we only need a D at the end for its past tense and its past participle. Has because the person is he. So I'm going to read the whole thing for you. Now listen carefully. Peter is a famous marathon runner. He has been a runner for six years. He got his interest in long distance running when he was 10. He lived in a small village where buses were very rare. Rare means not so many. He had to run to school in the morning so he would not be late. He ran back to his house after school too. He has gotten better and better in long distance running over the years. Finally, in 2007, he decided to go pro. He has competed in many marathons since he became a professional runner. That is for the first part. Now for the second part, we're going to talk about Bob. All right, so let's take a look at the first sentence. Bob loves, loves taking photos in the forest. So you can see that the sentence, third person singular verb S. This is a present simple tense. We use the present simple tense to talk about something that is true and to talk about the, our habits. Now look at the second half. He photos in the forest since he started working for National Geographic. So which means he's still working for National Geographic. Since he started working in National Geographic, this is the present perfect tense. We can see the keyword since, it means he still does that nowadays. So the answer is he has. The PP for take is take, took, taken. So he has taken photos in the forest since he started working for National Geographic. All right. Last year, he went to Amazon with a group of geography, geographers. Last year, it's certainly not now, it's in the past. 
So for this one, we have to use the past tense. The verb is go, and the past tense of go is went. So he went to Amazon with a group of geographers. Now, next part, they own many amazing animals and plants. Although you cannot see any time marker in this sentence, but you know, it is talking about last year. So the answer is they saw, because the past tense of see is saw. They saw many amazing animals and plants. Now I'm going to repeat question number two for you. Bob loves taking photos in the forest. He has taken photos in the forest since he started working for National Geographic. Last year, he went to Amazon with a group of geographers. They saw many amazing animals and plants. And that is for number two. All right, let's take a look at part three. We're gonna talk about Leo in question number three. Leo Ng, a movie director for over 20 years. Let's look at the time marker. The time marker is for over 20 years. So he is still a movie director now. It's still true. You see this keyword for over 20 years, more than 20 years. So this is present perfect tense. The verb that we've got is be. Be was were been. The PP for be is been. So the answer is Leo has been a movie director for over 20 years. He mm, over 15 movies since he started his career. Now, take a look at the time marker of the sentence. The time marker is since he started his career. Keyword since. So it's also present perfect tense because this is experience over uh, the years that he has been a director he has directed over 15 movies so the answer is he has directed over 15 movies now look direct is a regular verb so we only need to add ed for its past tense and its past participle. So the answer is, he has directed over 15 movies since he started his career. Next one. The last movie, he was over the moon. You can just see the keyword at the beginning of the sentence. The last movie. So it's not a movie that's making now. It's the past tense. So the past tense of make is made. So we say, he made, the last movie he made was over the moon. Look at the next one. It was about a young man in pursuit of his peace traveling dream, a space traveling dream, all right? Pursue means to chase, to look for, that's pursuit. Let's look at the next okay. one. Immediately means right away immediately after its release means the movie comes out it became a blockbuster a blockbuster means a very famous movie everybody loves to watch it and it sells a lot of money that's a blockbuster it is still in the theater now it what more than 20 million dollars worldwide since its release so the keyword time marker is since its release. You can see the keyword since means up till now, from the day it was released till now, it has sold more than $20 million. So this is the present perfect tense. So the verb that we have been given is sell, sell, sold, sold. So the answer is it has sold more than 20 million dollars worldwide since its release means it's still selling it's still making money because it's still in the theater now 
Now, let me read question number three for you guys. Leo has been a movie director for over 20 years. He has directed over 15 movies since he started his career. The last movie he made was Over the Moon. It was about a young man in pursuit of his space traveling dream. Immediately after its release, it became a blockbuster. It is still in theaters now. It has sold more than $20 million worldwide since its release. Thank you for watching this.